Listen up, people. I am here with Ari Shafir, the guy who spawned the idea for Shroom Fest, which I'm totally psyched to be here Shroom questioning Fest. him about the first Shroom Fest. So, I mean, what, what really is Shroom Fest? Today? Shroom Fest is an international mushroom festival. Uh, we're all doing mushrooms across the globe, all together. Not in the same place, but in the same frame of mind, you know. We're gonna be doing it on the higher side chats. We will we will send Ari yeah, anything. Get that shroomed happens. out and fucking tape one of these. In the 1930s, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt addressed the nation through a series of radio broadcasts known as the Fireside Chats. His aim was to reassure the common man that our society would recover from its troubled times. But we're far from 1930, and I deal with a different kind of fire. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another episode of the Higher Side Chats. Greg Carl, I'm here with Mike Ben. Yeah! A comedian from San Diego in the Comedy Store. And Paul Herman, another uh, comedian from La Jolla Comedy Store. Um, they're filming for Ryan Dunn today, who just couldn't make it. Uh, on the last day of Shroom Fest, which is kind of an event... Ari Shafir, I guess, started the Shroom Fest idea. Yes, this is the first annual Shroom Fest uh, created by Ari Shafir, uh, best known as the uh, internet sensation, the Amazing Racist, that you can find on uh, on YouTube and uh, all over the place. Hi, I'm Ari Shafir, and I'm the Amazing Racist. For an Asian, you kind of have an ass, huh? Right, right. No, same, no, same. No, same no, with no, the art. Right. Can you do it? Uh, yeah, it's like uh, 420, but for shrooms. Exactly. And it's three days long instead of one. Do you think it needed to be three days? Do you think you need three days for mushrooms? Um. Well. Depends on how many you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. I don't think you need three days to do them, but uh, it does make for one hell of a party. Fuck yeah! Which is what we are doing right now. That is correct. We all My lovely girlfriend was nice enough to give us all an equal dose. How do you normally in, ingest? How do you normally? What's your favorite? You just eat them? I just eat them. You just it's eat like them? there's why you waste do. time preparing pre the preparations and and just you know just you know just trying to to make teas and all this other stuff when it's just right yeah. there you just eat it. It's it's all going the same way. This is how I do it. Really? Dip in the water first. Moistens them up. It's the heat that pulls it out. Like you ever sit in the sun all day and get fucking tired of shit just because you're in the sun? It's because the heat from the sun is taking mm -hmm. shit out of you. Yeah, I got sunstroke in Thailand. Uh, orange juice is supposed to... We used to do orange exactly. juice uh, when we would take um, other hallucinogens. They say vitamin C is the best thing you yeah. take. Mm hmm. Oh, rough. Yeah, I'm gonna have a cigarette before uh, we start. Oh, yeah? Uh, we'll, we'll go back and restart. <laughs> oh, we already started? Yeah. Kind of. I'm sorry. Nigga, I'll kill you, I'll chop you up, put you inside the mattress like drug money, nigga. I like to think that my kids, my potential kids, I yeah. just don't have any kids, but in, in 20, 20 years, my kids could be sneaking out on June 20th yeah, to, do, exactly. to do Shroom Fest, and I could be like, you know what? I was at the first Shroom Fest. I was <laughs> yeah. part of it. Your fucking father, yeah, before he talk, hated you. Talk to the guy. <laughs> yeah, before he skipped out. Talk to the actual man <laughs> who set forth this. Actually helped 
to uh, spread the word yeah. about it before he hated you and beat you. Yeah, he beat you mercilessly <laughs> for not going to bed on time. We've all eaten about an eighth of mushrooms, three and a half dried grams. It was about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, about, yeah, about 15, 20 minutes. So in about another 10 minutes, we yeah. should be uh, just starting all to hit. On the floor. Exactly. All fucked up. Not to make this happen. Minutes. Uh, this was actually, uh, this is, uh, I figured, it, what's the most appropriate place to celebrate Shroom Fest and on the higher side chats? The last time you were here, that's, we did the exact same Exactly, thing. yes, for your birthday. That is what it was for. Paul wasn't here. Paul wasn't cool back then. No. Uh, Paul, how long have you been doing barely cool now. at the comedy store? Uh, I started doing open mic there a few years ago, and, uh... Got serious about it, I guess about two years, year and a half, two years ago. I've been uh, working there for about a year now, so. What is the, because you guys both actually work, you don't just perform at the store, you work for the store, right? Yeah. What I, is the process? Like, I guess you have to do a show in front of Mitzi? No, 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 that's that's uh, that's the Hollywood that's the Hollywood stuff. Um, she doesn't come down here to do those. Oh things? no, no, I've seen her no. twice uh, in these six and a half years I've been at the comedy store. Uh, five years working. But, but you do have to basically you have to audition. Do you have to be a comic to work for, for the store too? Yeah, well, for the guys, that's that's how we find who the next guy is because as soon as you when you get a job there, um, you get moved up to the best of San Diego, which means you're no longer on the open mic. Uh, you're doing shows three nights a week. Eventually, you're good to do weekend shows, and um, you know it's, it's it's a process. And everybody's paying the rent. Eh, not no. really. No, no. it's <laughs> not enough. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> no, Every, most everybody else has day jobs. I don't, I don't have a day job uh, yeah. because my day job is the comedy store, and I get a lot of perks. Like I bartend there too, so I get tips, which keeps me afloat. He's just um, broke. It's. Awesome to be able to do this again on Shroom Fest and last day. Ari was cool enough to come and meet me at the comedy store last time he was here to talk about the Shroom Fest. And uh, I that like it partake. because I think people, I think in a lot of cases, people just have, if you just say it's a holiday for something, people do it. That's really just all it takes. Like Cinco de Mayo, oh, everybody's going to get drunk. You know, I could be yeah. an AA for two years, but hey. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, it's an excuse. So I think for having a, having a day for Shroom Fest is just overdue. Awesome. It's a three-day event. Yeah. Is today the 20th? It's today the 20th. I didn't even realize yeah. that. Yeah. I think Father's Day weekend was a misplay. Uh, yeah. That's right. No, no. I I ranted and raved about my. Piece well, what of better shit gift for your dad? Than you know, mushrooms. Right? That's I don't him, think that would fly. him leaving. <laughs> See, that's why. Yeah, I wouldn't fly that's fly that's fly. why the last day of Shroom Fest is the day after Father's Day because because you know if the fathers didn't leave, then we probably would never have done shrooms. Right. right? <laughs> but Paul's dad's still around. Yeah. You know, just, I was just a fucked up kid. He's just a fuck up. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> no excuse for this one. <laughs> but at least I don't try to make one. <laughs> so what was was the last time you did mushrooms when you were on the show? Yeah, the last time I did mushrooms was uh, on this show. March twenty fifth. I think so. It's a good couple months. Mushrooms are not obviously not something you can do every day. You'll fucking go. You'll end up like Dave. Oh yeah, that's but, why uh, he's not here. <laughs> Paul, when was the last time you did mushrooms? It's been at least ten years. At least. Are you serious? It's at been least at ten least years. ten years, and yeah. you're doing it here, the, on the higher side chats. <laughs> on the right. higher side chats. I appreciate being a part of this milestone in your life. Oh, no, well, back you. on the wagon with mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. It, well, and it was it was never something where I was like, oh, uh, I don't want to do them. It was just you know uh, the right opportunity and everything else. So. I, I guess hanging out with comics now, I'm I'm around a lot more drugs than I was. A lot more was, freedoms when I was married to a uh, uh, Satan. So that was no. So but you're my, I'm, I'm, my that's wife. my first wife. Right, my, my, my my current <laughs> wife I would never refer to as Satan because uh, she, she's she actually a wonderful woman. She's wonderful she's person. really awesome. My current wife is fucking awesome. But yeah, my first one was uh, was Satan. Was your first wife? Would she bitch at you if you did something like this? Would she that kind? She. Of thing? I went home. I didn't smoke. Anything, uh, I, d I didn't do any drugs the whole time we were married, except for I went home for like a week for vacation, and I smoked out with a buddy, and she was like, uh, flipped out, like threatened divorce over this shit, man. Like, it just, uh, yeah, irrational. 
By the so. way, shit's just starting to hit me right now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 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 about that time. Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> What? I like drugs. Yeah, it's a gr- I, th- I just I just like the idea as soon as I can. And people are really into it. Just do shrooms, have fun, plan it's, your parties. It's very exciting. It's, yeah, it's it. I think it does a lot to. This girl on the radio today, she was like, "Oh, I want to, but I have my 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 girlfriend's like bachelorette party." I'm like, "Then yeah, That's do it at the bachelorette party." Yeah. And you just see her face light up, like, "Oh my god, yeah, you can do that." No one's I ever done bachelorette do parties on mushrooms. No one's done that. That's epic. Whatever you got to do. Don't use that as an excuse. Use that as like, ooh, that'll be way cooler on shrooms. It, it does a lot to remove the uh, the mystery and the danger from mushrooms. Uh-huh. Mushrooms are kind of thought to be a next level for potheads, yeah, you know, people yeah. of that sort. And I think it does a lot to just make it a little bit sillier. Like, hey, you know, you're not gonna. It's not that dangerous. It's, it's just, not. It's just fun. Nobody it's just ODs fun on it. Times. What's gonna happen is nothing. You might get diarrhea later once you recover. You're gonna get a little diarrhea. I always kind of have an upset stomach. And yeah. I feel like great yeah. afterwards. But the laughs, you have amazing Such laughs. Such great ones. Every if you go out walking, every group of people you see seems like characters of themselves, and you can like categorize them just very laugh. easily. Man, just, I, I did a bunch of shrooms at the funny. Ottawa Blues Festival last year, and as I was leaving, I I knew everybody else that was on shrooms. I could yeah. just see them. Yeah, you can, I, They're <laughs> on it. They're on it. They're on it. All these people sober. <laughs> Anyways, back to your and miserable you're, wife, yeah. your ex-wife. No, he asked. His, he actually asked his wife last. His new wife, his wonderful, amazing wife. Uh, he asked yeah. her if he could, if he can come do this stuff today. Yeah, yeah I called her last night. I was like, "Are you good with this?" She's like, "Oh yeah, whatever." Give it a hall pass. Like, oh yeah, like the movie. I mean, she and you know, she's super cool. We got married last August, so we're coming up on our year anniversary. Oh, okay. And uh, like when we got uh, a couple nights beforehand, I had the bachelor party, and she told my boy Will, who this guy's been my like my brother since we were kids and shit. Uh, she like gave him money for the strippers. Was like, make sure he make sure he has all this. Make stuff sure he has a good have. night and gave me a stack of ones and That's you know. Cool. So yeah, That's she's cool. she's cool as shit. Yeah, so. my girl's pretty fucking cool. She weighed all this shit out for us and then she just I know. walked. Yeah, that was yeah. awesome. <laughs> that is, that's, a, that's a good girl. Nice. Hopefully she comes back. What kind of training <laughs> is involved <laughs> with that, Greg? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, stumbled into it. I don't know. She's going to catch on one of these days. That's sweet. And I'll be left paying more rent than I can afford. <laughs> and I'll be doing these from an outlet outside of fucking Moondoggies. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm feeling like I definitely have taken mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's, that's far out. Magical mushrooms could have medical benefits, researchers say in Yahoo News. Just sitting right next to me. Does anybody want to read this? You can read it if you want. Uh, no, not right now. That's no, basically, they're just, they're just saying, I think it's happening a lot more uh, in the media. The more I see is um, medical marijuana, mm-hmm. and then the next thing to roll out is mushrooms. I mean, in Amsterdam, they have mushrooms. They sell them in uh, dispensaries. Yeah. So it's kind of the next, the next thing. But right now, yeah, it was yesterday. Um, on three different websites, I saw the same story of, uh, people at John Hopkins University, mm-hmm. they see that there might be some medical benefits of mushrooms. It's like no and that's been, there's been theories about that for a really long yeah. time. Well, apparently, I guess it's like 90% of the people there had long-lasting positive experiences. Right. They say it changed their life, you know. Uh, and then it says, it's, it says long-lasting positive experiences on there, and then it follows up with, it gave someone the courage to leave their husband. <laughs> <laughs> Positive for who? They didn't gain up the courage. They just had a bad dose and right. just wigged the fuck out. And that's, it's like, I was a monster. <laughs> Do you guys put all that kind of uh, metaphysical stuff on mushrooms? Or do you just see it, do you see it as uh, a way to get fucked up? Or are you just having recreation. fun? Uh, I'm certainly not going to claim that it's helping me with any medical issues right now. <laughs> well, right, but do you think there's anything people talk about? Uh, I think there's validity to it. I mean, like, especially with some of the psychological conditions. I mean, it, it, it cracks me up that people are so uh, quick to judge natural stuff when uh, been- Prozac numbers are through the roof and, and Adderall and, like, all these different, uh, tons of different antidepressants and drugs that are made for ADD and everything else. It's like they're t- being taken in record numbers, um, and nobody nobody talks about that. But but yeah. you know marijuana is automatically um, attacked. The like you, thing you about mushrooms up. and weed and mo- pretty much mushrooms and weed, I won't even throw any other drug in that category. Is they make it 
they make you sit there and think you're like, God, you look at your life and you're like, man, I am just going to work every day, letting some asshole tell me what to do. I have no fucking control of anything. For what? For some change? For some fucking money just so I can... You know, live paycheck to paycheck and barely yeah, keep the roof so, over my head. And just, just so I can get fed. I got to deal with this guy's shit right. just so I can eat. Those those are the drugs that really tune me into that kind of thought process. Mm-hmm. Whereas if I'm just going to get drunk every night, I'll just wake up with a hangover, you yeah. know, get a cup of coffee and get my ass to work. You know, that you don't really have the introspective thoughts on them. I don't know if mushrooms and, and weed cause those uh, I think they that out of you, but I think they open up creativity and everything. Like I love what George Carlin said about r- his writing process: is that he would like spend time, like um, you know, weeks or whatever yeah, writing, weeks and, just, and then when when yeah. he was ready to when he was ready to get all the punchlines out, he'd smoke. Yeah, he, and, and that helped him. Drugs. You know, he, he so he'd set the premise <laughs> up. The he'd end. set the premise of the jokes up, but then for the punchline, you know, he would just get off he would use that for creativity. So I think it can be. Uh, you know, it can definitely open up that um, oh. the creative side of people. It does open up a creative process. It, it, it definitely um, enhances a way of thinking. And it's, it's, it's like normal people. I, I use the term normal people as like people that don't do comedy, that aren't mm-hmm. comics, that aren't on stage. Normal, yeah. normal people. Yeah. yeah, Greg. Well, you're not really normal because you have this <laughs> blurring but, the line, trying to. But uh, without the internet, I would have killed myself. But yeah, but normal people, they don't think of things in a certain way because they're born and bred to do this, this only little thing. But people that do comedy or entertainment or, or, or something artistic, you know, they, they view things in a whole different demeanor. Whereas comics, you can, you can talk about whatever, the, whatever the fuck you feel like saying. Right. And uh, I, I'm starting to lose where this started <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. off. No, but I mean, that's wall. when but, as a comic, like it's hard to hold conversations. I'm trying to say is we do drugs. <laughs> that's, that's all right, though. We do drugs. So we see things in a different way. Do you see shrooms as more of a more than just a obviously more than a party drug? Yeah, it's you not just it's, it's not just a fun time. Yeah, absolutely, I see things clearly. When I'm on mushrooms, I sort of see things clearly. I'm not talking about any sort of meso- metaphysical like connection to the universe yeah. or to others. If you want to believe that, that's fine. I, I, I'm, a, I'm more of an atheist. I don't believe in sort of that stuff. I'm not going to tell you you're a liar or you're wrong, but it's, to yeah. me, it's just like, it helps me see clearly. Like, if you ever talk through a problem, right. and you're like, oh, I get it. That girl's cheating on me. I get it now. Exactly. It just helps you see things clearly. So I would like, I made a rule. The first time I did mushrooms, I was like, I should compliment other comics more. I don't know why I don't compliment them. And so I remember calling my friend People Chris Fairbanks. Or, yeah, writing him. I was like, you're a really cool comic. You're, you're an interesting technique. That's funny you say that because just a few... That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So no, mushrooms right, help me yeah. do that. Uh, a few episodes ago, I was talking about like I did... I had the same exact feeling with ecstasy. Yeah. My roommate started... Uh, he, he wanted to spin fire, you know, a fire boy. Yeah. And uh, he started doing it with tube socks and tennis balls to get the feel down of uh-huh. spinning fire. Oh, cool. And I was just like... I did actually... I'm like, you, you know, I, I watch him do this all the time. I never say anything. You know, he's doing yeah. it by himself. He doesn't get any encouragement. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, go for it, dude. You know, spin that fucking yeah, fire. Yeah, it's nice you know? to be able to say, we're, we're you're two good at what you the do. Beach, you know, like, yeah. good job practicing. Get out on the beach and mm-hmm. spin some fucking fire. It's easy fire. to shit on things, but you can also just easily point out the good stuff. Right. And drugs. And then you feel better of, about it. Of a lot of types make that just easier to do. Mm-hmm. Not all of them, but some of them. And mushrooms really does. I, I remember calling my friend, telling him I, I was just so sorry about his dad dying. And I just never really wanted to. I just felt bad about it for him. And he's like, thanks, man. What's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm on some mushrooms. And he's like, all right, that makes sense. It's fun when you can have, like, you know, I'll, I'm sure that I will definitely at some point have to go back to the day job grind, which I'm not looking forward to. But I don't think I can go back to what I was doing before because it was uh, soul crushing. And sometimes you need some, uh, well, that's some, yeah. you know, you, you definitely need something to, to take the edge off. And if it's, you know, if pot or mushrooms is your thing then then cool i don't think that there's anything different than it's nothing different than taking prozac or antidepressants or whatever it helps to fill a chemical imbalance in some people i guess you think people just naturally they'll find the drug that they like the most and stick with that yeah that's what just fits oh, definitely them. Uh, well, I mean, like, if, if crack is your drug, then that's, yeah, that's you're going to find that, and it's going to, you know. You don't know, think there's an excuse to say, I just have a crack personality. <laughs> right, I was just, <laughs> that's just filling in my needs. Yeah. Like, that's my personality. Personality. And it's, 
It's like I just woke up one day and I was like, you know what? You know, some people get high, some people get drunk. I really, I, crack. That's going to be my thing. <laughs> I'm just going to going to pick up rocks and smoke them. I can say that uh, I'm at a point with these mushrooms now that it is hard to follow my own train of thought. And it's also hard to listen to a full sentence from either one of you guys. It's hard oh, yeah, to the walls are dancing. the right end now, of a so sentence. I'm like, where the fuck? What were we talking about? Jobs. Who, yeah, who works? Rock work. Working I'm is, going there tomorrow. In less than 12 hours, uh, There's not. I might as well be in prison. At least you're not driving a bus or anything, though. Yeah, right. no, nothing important like that where people's lives... Like, you know, they, yeah, you're not a fireman. Like, I've done more drugs than like firefighters. It created <laughs> like, yeah, that makes me feel <laughs> super safe the next time they're I have to dial 911. They're like, we're not cops. We're just... They're to fucking put out fires and save old people. Like they do, they party more than anybody else that I've ever met in my life. Firefighters, firefighters, firefighters. <laughs> but you got to be fucked up. Like hey, look, everything. You in definitely there is, have to have a different personality yeah, to be willing. Everything you know. in there's on fire, and I'm just gonna walk in there and then like and do shit. That's you know. You gotta the be only crazy. two guys I know who are firefighters were pretty fucking crazy and weird. Yeah. See. That's, <laughs> I think they were it's, like it's the only people who tried everything else. They're the people who tried every fucking other thing, couldn't get into any other every other school program no, a little I mean, too long. <laughs> but the firefighting, the firefighting one is like a few weeks shorter than police academy. Well, it's a, it's They're definitely like, I can do that one. It's the air. Force. It's a generational yeah. thing too. It's like the military. You know, yeah. it's like oh well, my grandfather was the a air firefighter Force. and my dad was a firefighter. Force, you know, people got to be able to fly planes. Well, the, that's air, the hardest the, thing the, there is. Yeah, well, you still planes put don't out naturally fires. fly, that's but that's like firefighters is like the air. Force of the uh, of the military <laughs> circuit. That's the crazy that. ones. Yeah, like well, they're not really crazy to where it's like easier to get into firefighting than it is. Right, the same force. I'm, I'm just going off again. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, you're just, good at your Amtrak. They're, they're good trips. <laughs> they're good trips. Really sorry, right. and it was a mean, whole eighth. Shit just kind of starts hitting you, and I just wolfed him down. I'm sorry, I didn't even wait. Oh, me too. I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is, it's funny to have, I know I'm going to look back at this and laugh, but at this point I'm like, I don't want to do this at all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to do the podcast now. <laughs> I, I don't. I see that cracked open door and I'm like, frisbee golf or something. Yeah. <laughs> Get outside. For this, I like the idea of connecting everybody to each other too. Like it's sort yeah. of the internet age where I made a Facebook fa like a, a fan page for it. Yeah, just exactly. And then that's a place people can go post. Facebook yeah, is... post pictures and and whatever. Twitter, we got a hashtag Shroomfest. Exactly. So anything you do, fucking hashtag it up, and people will just exactly. follow along in real time. Yeah, yeah. And like some crazy shit's going down. It really is. Look at my yeah. friend Bobby. He's hugging the dirt, and you just take <laughs> a picture of that. You're like, oh, all right, these guys are shooting me. I'm gonna shoot them tomorrow, or I shoot them yesterday. Let me watch these guys today. Do you have any concerns about it? Um, being you know the way people put up salvia videos of it just being nonsense just craziness do you have any any concerns of it being nonsense do you want people to get something out of it or do you really yeah i want to see that it's a cool thing and just fucking do it you see it's i don't want like a... for myself i don't want anything out of it i might host some a place on my website uh ari shafir.com or ari the great.com just to like a place to put people like pictures and videos and stuff just to host them but like i don't want anything i just want the idea of everybody doing them i just like it so it's like for whatever reason i got the idea so i'm in charge no, that's that's you the know, shit. and then so let's just do it. Let's get it done. So yeah, go eat a shit ton of shrooms, relax for a little bit, talk amongst friends, and then when it's time to go, it's time to go. I feel like a giant right now. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's that's just me. We're we're hitting on a lot of deep <laughs> deep subjects here. <laughs> a lot of substance. Mike feels like podcast. a giant. <laughs> we're all about to start tearing up. <laughs> uh. And this is when it needs to end. I think so, yeah. We are peaking right now, I think, is what we're all trying to say. And it's going to be really hard to... Uh, if we're not peaking... That's an early peak, thing. right? It, it probably pretty much is, but I mean, I feel like if this is not halfway there, then I'm <laughs> yeah, fucked. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> what, is, halfway there yet, what is an hour I mean, from I'm now going to be yeah. like? Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm feeling I'm not going pretty anywhere. damn good. You guys want to go somewhere? <laughs> I just want to go hang <laughs> out with Ari Shafir. Like, to me, this is the end of my fucking day. My yeah. day is derailed. That's why you're smart to do this at your house. <laughs> we had to drive. I had to pick up Paul in East County. That's yeah, he had to drive all the way. Because I was like, I can't. I'm down to do it, but I can't drive afterwards. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. Oh, look at that. Somebody just yeah. walked in. 
There she is. Of she's course. back from her walk. How you feeling? She's giggling. She's giggling. Teresa just walked in. <laughs> she's a regular guest here, right? Yeah, she lives here. That's okay. <laughs> she's heckling me. Yeah, I think we're the guests. Right. It, yeah. Actually, this is well, her. This is her house. Yeah, we're in her house. This is her living room. We're invading okay. her space. It's always about her. Yeah. Yes. We had this conversation. Yes. So I don't let them get involved in these kinds <laughs> of things. But I think that's about it, right? Yeah, we'll edit that out. I'm about ready, guys. I'm about ready, too. Do you feel that way? I'm feeling... This yeah. has nothing to do with your guys' life. You know, you guys no. already are <laughs> out of your shitty days. I, so. I do have one interesting part, piece of history, part. though, before we go. Uh, I was listening to the intro, and it was talking about uh, FDR doing yeah. the, the fireside chats. Uh, I used to work at the U.S. Grant Hotel, which I probably shouldn't admit on anything that's being <laughs> recorded. <laughs> but I used to work at the U.S. Grant Hotel, and um, it's like top secret shit. You know, it's like head CIA. He worked at this hotel. Well, no, no, I just don't want to announce to people that I might have to ask for a job in a couple months that I was doing mushrooms. <laughs> See, that's the fun. Of, yeah, exactly. You are. I'm, <laughs> I'm the extreme. You're in the middle. You're yeah. trying to live like he lives because you're kind of stuck. Uh, yeah, like, well, I'm come back to living like I live. Yeah, I'm, like, like, I'm in limbo right, right now. Who knows? I'm in limbo right now. But um, anyways, the U.S. Grand Hotel, the the penthouse suite, which I got to live in for a couple months when I first moved to San Diego, which was awesome. Uh, was originally a, it was the first radio station that was ever in California. And FDR owned a home in Coronado. So yeah, he did, yeah, he did a lot of his fires, uh, the fireside chats, uh, from right. that radio station at the U.S. Grand Hotel. So. Oh, right there in San Diego. See, right in downtown San Diego. Connected. See? That's and it all comes full circle. Full that's circle. what mushrooms are all about, is everybody feels like we're one. And we pretty much are fucking one, yeah. right? So brains have reason. melted together in this. Room. All right. I'm Later. Here. Good night. Anything you want to plug before we go? <laughs> like any shows? La Jolla Comedy uh, Store. Yeah, La Jolla uh, Comedy. We should probably plug that. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, go to the La Jolla Comedy Store on Wednesday, Thursdays, and Sundays, and you can see Mike Van and Paul Herman. Yeah, we got uh, Wednesday. Wednesday we have a the what is it? The New World uh, Order uh, of Comedy this, or some this shit. Might not yeah, be Bob Hansen. Guys, about that, but uh, it's not gonna happen. Uh, we came, we tried. We're gonna call it call it a day right. because I'm fucked. Adios. Would you like to hear a song? There was a mushroom, sad little mushroom. There was a meadow, ready to cry. There was a sparrow, gray little sparrow. There was an eagle, silent and high. And the Lord said, Let children laugh, the Lord said, Let children laugh, the Lord said.